so welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to make a assembly of a universal coupling so as we know the universal coupling is used for the uh, power transmitter it is nothing but a joint so if uh, if there is a two shaft you, you want to transmit a power from the one shaft to another shaft but that shaft axis is not in one line at that situation you can't use the normal joint at, at that situation you have to use the some special joint like a universal coupling by using universal coupling you can easily transmit the power from the one shaft to another shaft with minimum losses this is the main purpose of universal coupling so without wasting uh, more time let's see the how we can uh, assemble how the universal coupling assembly is take place so i already make all the uh, component of a universal coupling uh, in first part of this video and in this second part i will simply show the how to assemble all these parts and make a universal coupling so let's start the video so click on this start option mechanical design and assembly design for assembly we have to insert a one part first let's insert the first part so you can choose any one so i choose the center so this is the center of universal coupling um, for assembly it is compulsory that you have to fix the one of the part so let's fix this center part click on this fix component option and simply select the component press enter now you can see here this center part is fixed now with reference to this center part i will assemble other parts so let's assemble one by one other parts click on this existing component option product insert next part so i will insert next fork this is our fork but it is not in the right position we have to give constraint to fix it uh, place it in a right position i want this uh, fork on this cylinder for that i need to give the constraints few constraints first constraint is a coincide constraint coincide between this axis and axis of this fork okay just simply press the control u you can see still it is not in the right position i have to give one more constraint that is a contact constraint i need contact between this surface and this surface simply press the control u you. you can see it is a place in right position but not in proper way i have to move this fork for that click on this uh, manipulation this axis um, simply move it okay now again press control u you can see uh, it will be placed in the right position that uh, i want same fork i need on this cylinder as well follow the same procedure as previous click on this existing component option product fork open so again give the same constraint first constraint is a coincide constraint coincide between this axis and this axis press control u one more give the constraint that is a contact constraint i want contact between this plate and this plate control u you can see it will again uh, place it right position that i want now next is a uh, pin let's insert the two pins i need a two pins one pin in this hole and another is in this so let's insert the pin uh, where is the pin this is a pin open you can see the pin is inserted but it is a, it is immersed in this assembly i have to move drag it outside for that take it and drag it outside i can place it back to original position okay now again give this same two constraint first constraint is a coincide constraint and another is a contact constraint coincide coincide between this axis and axis of this fork uh, okay okay got it now next is a contact constraint contact constraint is always uh, between two surfaces this is my first surface 
and this is the second surface just simply update the drawing you can see that pin is successfully um, take its position same pin i want in this um, hole follow the same procedure as previous click pin open again drag it outside assembly is the very simple part of the katia anyone can easily do the assembly let's drag it outside okay place it original position okay again give the same constraint coincide and contact first coincide constraint coincide between this and next is a contact constraint contact between this surface no this is not surface this is a edge i have to accept okay contact between this this surface and uh, this surface just simply update the drawing you can see and the pin is also placed in it right position that i want now next is a uh, bush bush or you can say the colors i want colors on uh, this pin and this pin let's insert the color click on this existing component you can see color okay you, uh, now i ins just inserted the color but it is not a visible i that color is hidden somewhere in this uh, assembly so for that i i have to uh, explore this assembly and drag the that color outside again update the drawing so for explore this uh, assembly just click on this explore option okay again s you can see here is our color just pull it drag it outside outside okay update the drawing okay <clears throat> now i want this color on this pin okay for that again give the same constraint first is a coincide constraint where it is this is coincide between okay this axis and axis of this pin this is a just critical part you can't find the easily the axis of the that small hole but i will try okay got it now next constraint is a contact contact constraint uh, contact between this shaft surface and this inner part of the collar okay i update the drawing you can see the collar that collar is a place on that pin but i will show the its position okay see the whole up collar and whole up that pin is perfectly matched with each other okay same collar i want on this shaft follow the same procedure as previous click on this existing component option product uh, insert the collar open again that collar is uh, hidden somewhere in this assembly i have to drag it outside for that explore the assembly okay okay you can see here is our collar no that is not collar that is the last collar this is the latest collar so drag it outside okay drag it outside again update the drawing okay now give the constraint same constraint first constraint is a uh, coincide constraint assembly is a very simple you have to just need to find the right axis it it, it will not difficult uh, mm -hmm. not find not getting okay i got it no that is a wrong escape but i will one more try i will try mm -hmm. okay i got it mm. 
constraint with this axis not finding I try in this way okay guy got it our next constraint is the contact constraint contact between this surface and this inner surface okay simply update the drawing now update the drawing you can see this color is also place the right position that i want okay our assembly is almost ready our assembly is almost ready just i need to insert the taper pin in this hole in this two hole let's insert that taper pin click on the existing component uh, taper pin taper pin open again that taper pin is somewhere hidden in this assembly so i have to drag it outside for that explore the assembly for a moment okay you can see here is our taper pin drag it outside um, drag it outside update the drawing you can simply press the control u also it will be automatically updated okay give the same constraint go inside constraint okay and next constraint is surface constraint contact sorry contact constraint no that is h mm, i have to select the proper con surface okay this is surface you know the mouse work very well okay just simply press the control u control u you can see that taper pin is successfully inserted in this hole same taper pin i want in this hole okay follow the same procedure click on the existing component product insert the taper pin assembly is a very simple again explode the drawing or assembly okay okay you can see here our taper pin this is a previous one this is this is a latest one so drag it outside just drag it and update the drawing and give the constraint first constraint is the coincide constraint with this hole wait i have to find the right axis otherwise it will not place in the right position okay i will find now okay i got it got it got it no 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 come on oh okay okay now next constraint is a which one contact mm -hmm. Oh, contact between this surface and this outer surface okay simply update the drawing you can see uh, our assembly is uh, completed you can simply hide this mark constraint marks click on this constraint right click hide okay you can see our assembly is ready uh, you can also the change the material color or material of this uh, universal coupling let's change the material click on this material here is a lots of material are available fabric metal other painting shapes everything every kind of material is available here so i just give the colors uh, where it, I, I you can see this is a my colors that i gave uh, during the um, component okay if you like this video please uh, subscribe my, to my channel and um, take care see you in the next video again i, I will telling you assembly is very simple if you know the how to make the components assembly is just a piece of uh, just a piece of cake for you okay goodbye